Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. You're watching this video because you want to know more about the Igor. Uh, firstly, this is not going to be a review video. I don't do review videos. If you want to check out um, figures, Iron Man figures, check out Xenomorph, um, who probably has the best turntable that money can buy in the one sixth community. If you want to check out the Reviewer King, he can compare any figure to any type of animal excrement out there, especially the Peacemaker Mark 36. I heard he hates that so much he'd rather eat some Kinder Egg stickers, uh, which I know he absolutely detests as well. And finally, check out Denobi 2. He's a bit of an Iron Man specialist, and I heard recently um, he's able to levitate one sixth scale figures as well. So um, he should be getting the Igor in the next month or so. So go to those guys' channels. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, before I talk about the figure, this is going to be a comparison video um, with a few poses in there as well and just showing me how this compares up to a few other figures that I have. For those who don't know me in the one sixth community or on Facebook, I'm an Iron Man only collector. So I'm afraid I won't be able to talk about how this compares to the Hulk, etc. Only pretty much the Ironmonger and other uh, one sixth scale Iron Man figures like the Star Boo, Silver Centurion, Heartbreaker, etc. So before I go into talking about the figure and show you a little bit more about that, just one thing I want to address. I got a message on YouTube the other day. And uh, this, this guy's a nice guy, and he said, you know what, Anthony, you're pronouncing the name wrong. It's Igor. If you watch um, when Tony Stark in the film tells Jarvis to tell Igor to come over, um, he, he says it. So I reply saying, that's fine. Americans pronounce things a certain way, just like tomato, tomato, etc. If you guys want to pronounce it Igor, that's fine. I'm going to pronounce it Igor because I think most British from British speakers from England or in Hong Kong will pronounce it Igor just like how we would answer a text message on our phone that's an iPhone rather than an e-phone. So if you guys want to pronounce the, the word e-phone that's cool as well. If you guys want to do that that's your choice. Um, so I just wanted to address that particular point. So, the first thing is the box size, it is absolutely immense. On the right hand side, you can see a standard figure box size, and I've got the star boost there. It is about three times the size. I've got next to that the Tony Stark Workshop, and it's bigger than that because it's much deeper as well. So I'm just going to go and angle so you can see that. And it's also bigger than the Ironmonger box as well. Um, so I'll be comparing how that looks with the um, Ironmonger itself shortly. Alright guys, I've just posed this up, got him out of the box. I don't put the batteries in because I don't like to put on the light up features. So I've got here the Peacemaker slightly crouching pose, the Midas Mark 21 standing pose. I know they're about 12 and a half inches in terms of just standing straight. So I'm going to do, um, just bear with me here. I'm going to grab a tape measure and show you the height of this eyeball. So we're looking at around 18 and a half, just under 19 inches in uh, height on a full standing pose. And with his arms closest to his sides, it's about 11 inches or so. So yeah, um, pretty menacing, pretty large figure. Obviously, substantially larger than the other Iron Man figures. I'm going to try and crouch him a little bit more to see if I can get him into a, a size that you could potentially fit into a debt off. I know a lot of you collectors out there want to know, can you crouch him almost like the Hulk? So I'll do that in a moment. Also, I'll put him next to an Iron Monger so you can see how that height looks. And I will show you the back of this particular figure because I think it actually looks really nice. Just going to go in a little bit more and show you guys a little bit about the paint app. This looks a little bit different than the one that was actually on display at Hot Toys and at Secret Base. Um, it looks a little bit shinier, but it has these really nice weathering battle damage like effects. 
Uh, the paint app on this is much more complicated than the Ironmonger. So for those who are saying it's very similar in terms of price or the stature, it's, I would say it's completely different. Um, a lot more design has gone into this, I think. There's no additional head sculpts, but it's the fact that it's such an impressive bit of engineering along with the, the paint. Really impressive. So, by the way, I actually really like the Ironmonger, so I'm not hating on that figure. I really like that figure. But this is something that's a bit different. And also, I get a lot of messages saying, is this like a poor man's Hulkbuster? Is this the precursor to it? No, it's not. Pretty much all the suits are designed for certain purposes. For example, the Peacemaker was designed as a riot control armor. The Star Boost was a um, suborbital armor. This is a heavy lifting armor. If you can see properly, there's no real weapons or um, battle or combat ready design on this armor. So it's completely different to a Hulk Buster that was designed to, as you can hear from the name, Buster Hulk. So. Yeah, completely different. So I'm going to go into a cut now for the next uh, portion of this video. Iron Munger next to the Igor is about two inches shorter. That's with his helmet down. So with his helmet up, it will be probably similar, I think, because uh, it goes on a sort of an elevated portion. It doesn't completely open flat. So. I think that I, the Ironmonger with its helmets up will be slightly high, if not the same height. But if we're going into this pose alone, purely height comparison, we have it the Iron the Ironmonger is substantially shorter. So let me just show you the back of this Igor. The intricate details, these flaps that move that we've seen in the film. Um, really nice attention to detail. So just giving, giving you guys a quick look at this before moving on to the crouching potential look of this Igor to see if it, it would fit in a Detoff. So I think you guys can see it's it's definitely more imposing and has a larger feel to it than the Ironmonger so far. It will be the biggest Iron Man figure until the Hulk Buster hopefully arrives. So let's see this Igor crouching. The lowest crouching position is the one that I've got him in at the moment. Um, I don't think I can get it anymore. The legs are quite squat. You can hunch his back a little bit more because it has some uh, sort of waist crunch, so to say. So I'm going to grab a tape measure again and see what's the best height I can do for this. So. This is around the 16 and a half inches, just under 17 inch mark. So looking at 15 inches for a debt off. So this I'm afraid is not going to fit in there. So maybe you guys can come up with some funky poses to get him in. Or you want to take his legs and arms apart and put him in there. Broken up, being fixed by Tony Stark. So it won't fit in a debt off on a crouching stance like this one here. And that is the lowest that I can get him in. So anyone else want to try, put it online. Let's have a look at this funky pose. Um, you can get him in. This is my final pose. And I've got my synthetic humans. For those of you guys who don't know, I have a custom cabinet where I have a lot of synthetic humans as well. The, T, the Thousand Toys exclusive versions and one standard version. So I like to create fight scenes with them, not to recreate Iron Man 3, but just to put those guys in a more of a dynamic pose. I don't really like too many museum type poses. I prefer, I prefer it when they're telling a story. You can see what's going on here. So Igor has just broken the neck or killed one of his buddies and this guy's looking to uh, retaliate. But obviously he realizes, hang on a minute, this may be a... Uh, a little bit problematic. He's such a big fella. So anyway, that's the last pose I'm going to put him in. Okay guys, I've finally put him in my display cabinet. 
if you guys haven't seen my custom display setup or um, my full collection, I'll put a quick link to my collection video below. But I've got a custom uh, display cabinet all set up and this is how he's going to be settled in now. He's going to be holding up a synthetic human that's pretty much dead I'd say. Being kicked in the face by a flying synthetic human next to the Silver Centurion Mark 33 fighting off two other enemies with swords. So that's pretty much how I'm having him set up. And yeah, really happy I picked this up. It's not a cheap figure, so you guys who want this, really think about it before getting it. It doesn't come with much. It's a huge presence and it's just so... I'm trying to put the right word. Imposing, I think is probably the best word. If you don't have any other Iron Man figures, he may look a little bit strange, but... Posed up with the others from the Iron Man 3. It looks really good. So thanks very much for watching guys. Really appreciate it. And um, hope to catch you next time in the next vids. Thank you.